Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. Welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to create a line chart with markers in Excel and how to select non-adjacent data in Excel which is very important for this chart that we, that we are going to create. So we are back on our mileage worksheet. Um, let's go ahead and look at today's question. So the question is on the mileage worksheet insert a line graph using the source data in the cell ranges A11 all the way to A21 and D11 and D21. Please make a note that is column A and column D, not column B and C, which is in between A and D. Let's have a look. So on the mileage worksheet, it is asking us to use A11 all the way to A21 and D11 all the way to D21. Now I have done another lesson on how to select non-adjacent data which is important for many reasons. Um, so please do refer to lesson 20 for a more thorough explanation of how to select non-adjacent data and all the benefits that comes with it. However in this lesson I'm going to show you very quickly how to do this. So what we do is we select the first set of um, range that we need to highlight. So all the way to A11 to A21. We then let go of the mouse and then we hold down the control key on the keyboard and select the second range of cells that we need to highlight for the chart that we are going to create. If you don't hold down the control key, you will not be able to highlight this set of data and this set of data together because they are non-adjacent. Remember this word, it just means the cell ranges are not side by side. That's all it means. So this is how you select non-adjacent data, please do remember. Now once you've highlighted your data, we go to the insert tab in the ribbon and in the charts group we have many charts but the chart we need to create today is a line chart so we go straight up here we click and we are presented with a few different types of line charts today we need to create a line chart with markers now the first one doesn't have any markers even though it will work it is a very basic one but we are asked to create a line chart with markers now this one here the fourth one from the left you can see these little points here these little squares we refer to them as markers so we're going to create or select this one to create this chart so we need just need to click on it once you have done that you are straight away presented with your lovely line chart now the line chart remember or any chart as a matter of fact should make sense pretty much straight away so you can see in this line chart, if I just move this a little bit over here, that it is representing all the distances from Taunton all the way to Wick and how many liters of petrol we have used for each of these um, destinations. Now from the data, um, just to analyze, you can see that Tonton or from the beginning to the end, we're starting from the smallest to the biggest number of liters that was used. Hence, if you look at this pattern of line, you can see that gradually it is going higher because the nature of a line graph is to show you a particular trend. Um, so in this particular one, because in one of the previous lessons, we did sort this data to be from the lowest value to the largest value. This is why this line is trending 
to constantly go higher. So this is how you create a lovely line chart. And this brings us to the end of uh, this quick lesson. So please do like and share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And I shall see you over in the next lesson. And in the next lesson, we will learn how to move a chart to a new worksheet of its own. So I shall see you then um, and take care. Goodbye.